girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Liquid IV, it's all about hydration. So if you are into working out, walking, running, jogging, hiking, whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes, this is for you. Liquid IV will hydrate you twice as fast as water. Super convenient, little packs that you can take anywhere. They have all these amazing flavors, green apple, wild berry, lemon, lime. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. So if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code Shademan Empire and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your liquid IV right now. Hey, hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day on this beautiful day. Uh, we are back. It is, uh, what are days today? Oh, today's Friday, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, we are ready for the weekend. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing this weekend. We are back officially. I am so excited. I cannot believe that we are finally, finally back on YouTube. It was a long month of fighting. You know, I know for some people it might feel shorter, but that's just because I break the news of the demonetization. Like, two weeks after it actually happened but in total it was like a month you know like a little bit over a month that uh, this that we have to like go down with all of this bullshit but now we are back now we win this fight you know and and it is time to continuing you know to do the things that we were doing all right guys so i have some cold, cold iced tea coming from the beautiful cold mountains of Salt Lake City. Because today we are going everywhere. I am giving you guys tea from everywhere. We already talked about Orange County. We talked about New Jersey. We talked about Vanderpump Rules. Now it is time to talk about Salt Lake City. I am so excited about Season 4. You guys have no idea how much I love the ladies of Salt Lake City. And I think this new season is going to be very good. A lot of people are very scared that it's going to be, how it's going to be, you know. We don't have Jen Shaw anymore, you know. And even though she was, or she is a criminal, um, she was good reality TV, you know. And a lot of the things that we used to talk were around, you know, her scandalous ways you know, and, and also like all the shit that she used to do, you know, when she was screaming, when she was fighting, when she was throwing things, you know, because all of that gives to great reality TV. Now, she's gone, thank God, because she deserved to be in jail, okay? I think she's going to be there for like five and a half years or something like that. And... We're just staying here thinking, what is going to happen? How is this going to affect next season? Now, we know for a fact that Miss Meredith Marks is back. Lisa Barlow is back. Whitney Rose is back. Heather Gay is back. Angie Katzeneva is back. And I think we're going to get one or two new housewives, <clears throat> which is going to be very excited. Uh, there are these rumors that one of the housewives... One of the new ones, which I don't know if it's going to be a full-time or a friend of the show, used to work for Jen Shaw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl, like, can you imagine, I mean, what face do you go on a reality show and say, I used to work for this criminal? Uh, is she going to say that she didn't know what they were doing? What, what is this thing over here, you know? So anyways, and I think, I don't know if it's the same person or another person. There, there are these rumors that a couple, um, I mean, that a housewife that it's actually living in polygamy. Uh, it's going to be joining the show, which is a big part of the Utah 
lifestyle, let's call it like that. Not that everyone is like that, but you know, Utah is known for having, you know, tropos and polygamy and like all of that, right? So, um, let's see, let's see. I'm very excited about all of these changes, okay? Now, Miss Whitney Rose was on this uh, show the other day supporting the LGBT community and um, that I love. You know, one of the things that I love about Salt Lake City is the support for the LGBT community for every, from every single housewife, except Mary Cosby, which is not a surprise there because she is a homophobe, allegedly, you know? But anyways, um, you know, the support that all of these girls give to our community. It is so big. It is so good. And I'm so happy uh, about that. Um, and I really respect them for that, you know? So um, Whitney was at this event and she actually um, spilled some tea. So apparently, you know, Whitney Rose and Lisa Barlow are now BFF. But on this new season, they're actually going to be going through some stuff, which is not surprise there. It's not like you could like forget that you were being an asshole to each other just last year, you know, and now you're BFF and now like, you know what I mean? So, uh, but according to Whitney Rose, that doesn't mean that they are not friends anymore. They actually are still very good friends. They just are going to go through some stuff. I also know that Lisa Barlow and Meredith Marks are actually coming back together, not in the same way that they used to be before, but they are really kind of like navigating those waters to see if the friendship could somehow be, you know, um, come back to what it used to be, you know, which it really, really, uh, I think is great. Um, look, I, you know, I love Lisa Barlow. Lisa Barlow to me is the queen of Salt Lake City. I love everything she does and she's amazing. Her realness, her beauty, like the whole, she has a whole package to be an amazing real housewife. She's top tier, you know? But I was very, very, not horror, but I was like very disappointed on the way that her friendship with Marilyn Marks went down because I really like Marilyn, especially in season one. I did not start liking Meredith when she started being all like randomly BFF with Mary Cosby when she is in the middle of like a bunch of shit. And then she also goes and becomes BFF with Jen Shaw. It's like, do you love to be friends with criminals? Like what the fuck is going on? Right. But the thing is, as you know, the way she supports her family, the way she support Brooks, the way that she is, I, I always felt a lot of respect for Meredith, you know? So I never was like on a let's hate on Meredith Marks train. No, you know, I could never be on that train. And I, and I, and I, and I feel a lot of respect for her, you know, and I, I applaud her for the way she is as a mom and a, as a businesswoman. Now, as a friend, she needs to, you know, she needs to work it out with Lisa Barlow, you know, because yes, again, I also called out Lisa Barlow when she did the whole rant because it was too much. But I was like, Lisa already apologized like a thousand times, you know, like what else are you expecting? And then Mary went on and put like all of those rumors and all of that. Ugh, girl, it was just too much. It was too chaotic for my, for my taste. But I mean, I'm thinking hurt people hurt people, you know? So, <clears throat> you know, when two people love each other too much, that's when the foldouts are bigger because there are so much love. And I always, I have, I have always seen that, you know, those two will be back together. Those two will be friends at some point again. I don't know if it's going to be the same BFF as they were before, but they have been friends for over 10 years. Why drop all of that? I don't know. So I keep encouraging them, you know, to like proceed with caution, but proceed, you know, and let's see how it goes. Now, Winnie also said that Mary Cosby's return is chaotic, that it is weird, that Mary is a very chaotic woman. And I agree 100%. You know, I mean, I am not happy that Mary is back. 
you know yes she's funny and weird but the only the only the only reason why she's funny is because we're laughing at her we're not laughing with her okay it's because she's so weird that she we're laughing we, at her but should we forget all the racist bullshit that she did are we going to forget the fact all the church situations you know remember all the interviews and the people coming forward and you know the stealing are we supposed to like forget about that i don't know so i'm not like i'm gonna see her like but like girl you know apparently that they they're gonna go to like a, a gay club and she's gonna have like a whole thing about going inside the gay club and ugh, i just like i can't so anyways, I know I know next season is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for season four of The Real Housewife of Salt Lake City. So let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have now my weekly podcast, Let's Talk About This Mess with The Real Andy of Beret Hills. And you can also, uh, if you want a personalized message, you can book me through Cameo now. The links for everything is on the description below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality.